Jane Eyre is one of those titles that's taken on legendary status. Lots of people know about the title regardless of whether they've read the book or not. And I wanted to investigate what has given this book its enduring power. If I say to people I'm doing Jane Eyre, there's this kind of rather glazed look. I hope audiences will be surprised by this production because it surprises me as a performer how we're approaching it. People might ask about the costumes and, and I've now developed a sort of stock response where I go, there are no tea sets and there are no rugs. You know, this is not some sort of costume drama. If anything, it's absolutely the opposite. We've spoken a lot about not having to be literal the whole time. Pretty much everyone um, plays different characters. The music and the movement in this is incredibly dynamic. It adds an amazing amount of power to the piece. We want to tell the story as richly and vividly and vi with a great deal of kind of visceral, muscular energy. I like going into a rehearsal room not knowing how we're going to get to the end. Over the next six weeks it will all emerge. So the whole of the devising process on this show is very collaborative. There's very much a kind of um, democratisation of voices in the room. The first thing to do, obviously, is to pull everything out of the, the book that excites me. Then I start to work very closely with a dramaturg. And then once we've done that, we've got a kind of skeleton structure, which I will then take into a workshop. We spent a lot of time um, sitting down, reading chapters from the book, working out which bits of the story were important to us. Then you literally get on your feet and you start playing around with it. Distilling those improvisations until eventually we find the kind of essence of a scene. I don't come in with predefined steps or choreography. Everything's in response to each other and anyone can really offer up anything in the room. Uh, it's my job really to help curate some of those ideas as well as making my own offers. You end up with this this piece that's kind of created from the ground up, that we've kind of deconstructed and then rebuilt as a company. You have an ownership of a scene you're not even in because you feel you've been part of that process in creating it. There's a power in that ensemble. There's a real sense of drive and of the need to tell this story. First day of rehearsals, we were all holding up our copies of the book and they're all published with these awful, you know, sort of pastel, you know, chalk pastel drawings of Victorian women with their hair and nothing could be further from Jane Eyre. People imagine sort of dresses and it's all a bit winsome and tedious. Charlotte Bronte's sense of the world and her spirit and her, um, her storytelling brilliance are just modern.